The courtroom brawl between Titania and She-Hulk is described in news sources, and Jen is named. Jen hesitantly morphs before entering the bar where Nikki is taking her, and where they are toasting She-Hulk. The opposing lawyer makes Jen feel bad for keeping her superpowers hidden from the public until now. He is dismissed by Nikki, who also offers Jen free drinks. Another lawyer approaches Jen and asks her to change back into her human form. When she does, all the alcoholic beverages she hoped drank start to take effect right away. She is informed that a mistrial had to be declared since she saved the jury's lives, which the defense attorney claimed would lead to bias. Although they lost the case, he acknowledges that she made the right decision in saving the jury members' lives. She would be a liability to the DA's office, so he must fire her. Jen discovers she has been fired while intoxicated when Jen awakens at home, she hears Bruce's voicemail offering to speak. Due to the risk of hiring her, she receives rejection after rejection. She and Nikki collaborate to get employment. Jen makes the choice to go to her parents' house for dinner. She was terminated in front of the rest of the family, which cousin Ched regrettably quickly mentions. As Ched boasts about being promoted to manager at Best Buy, Jen dismisses it. Jen is annoyed by how her family treats her, whether it's because she's a superhero or a member of the younger generation. Before her father calls her away to discuss, she muffles the conversation. He makes an effort to soothe her and advises her to keep moving past her previous employment. Mr. Holloway approaches Jen and offers to buy her a drink. Based on his enthusiasm for the work she did in the trial defending his firm, he makes her an employment offer. She agrees, but only if she hires a paralegal of her own. He informs her that she begins on Monday and expresses little interest in the person she hires for the position, since Jen will represent their superhuman law division at work and in court as she joins GLKNH, Holloway gives her the directive to always act as She-Hulk. Jen changes into She-Hulk and walks inside the offices. Jen conveys her disgust with the audience after understanding she was chosen primarily for her ability to represent the superhuman community and not totally for the quality of her work. Nikki welcomes her and expresses admiration over her workspace after being shown to her office. A welcome basket is delivered to them. When Jen meets with Holloway, she is given the duty of securing Emil Blonsky, the abomination's parole. Blonsky attempted to assassinate Bruce, but Jen outright objected. She must meet with Holloway, he insisted. She can only enter the prison if she transforms back into a human. Before meeting the prisoner, she is required to sign a waiver. Before letting her inside to witness Blonsky, in his human form, sitting in a cell, the guard finishes lecturing her. Blonsky tells her that in addition to changing himself physically so that he might once again assume human form, he also did so spiritually and honestly considered his past. He calmly explains to her that his attempts to kill Bruce were not motivated by any personal animosity but rather by directives from her government. Blonsky describes how he only used the super soldier serum to eliminate a threat, despite his deep desire to become the next Captain America. Jen informs him that in order for parole to be considered, he must express remorse. He responds that he has no desire to harm anyone and is only interested in leaving prison and reuniting with his seven soulmates, prison pen pals. Jen calls Bruce at home to tell him about her new job and that Blonsky is her first client. He informs her that Blonsky wrote to him and that he has forgiven him for the fight. She-Hulk is a name Bruce likes. As the Sicarian ship enters hyperspace, he informs her that he will be looking after something. Jen answers the phone, and Holloway informs her of a news story about Blonsky in Abomination fighting in the underground ring from Shang-Chi.